Keep an eye on the man in white overalls waving his arms earlier in the day. 25-year-old Erickson Chalamutissia was supposed to be at the butcher's shop where he worked, his mother said, but ended up here. CNN's camera captured him dancing until shots ring out. Police advance towards the protesters. More shots and people run away. Amid the chaos, we spot Erickson again. He is lifeless on the sidewalk. Around him, other protesters are also on the ground. As the smoke lifts, one man has been shot in the head. People rush to help, but police keep firing at them. A bag is thrown in the air as the smoke grenade goes off, but that protester escapes. We were on the scene as this unfolded. There are three bodies lying on the ground after we heard live ammunition coming from Parliament. A police truck is on fire, and the protesters appear to be pushing the police, overwhelming them, getting closer to Parliament. Unknown to us at the time, Ericsson's body was being carried away behind me, his white overalls soaked in blood. We obtained his autopsy report. Ericsson was shot in the back and bled to death. Moments later, another injured protester is carried away. But he is lucky. He survived. That protester is 26-year-old Ian Kea, who was also hit in the back. I'm in pain because of the government. He was demonstrating because he's been jobless since he graduated five years ago. Our main mission is to change Kenya, to be a, a better Kenya. Do you regret going out to protest? I'm not regretting anything because it's my right. Ian is a keen bodybuilder but has lost the use of his legs. CNN obtained three autopsy reports of protesters who were demonstrating around Parliament on the same day. Two died from gunshot wounds, one was shot in the head, the other in the back. CNN has reached out to the Kenya police and the Ministry of Interior about the conduct of security forces on that day, but we have not received a response. President William Ruto said in a TV interview Sunday night that the police did their best, and he maintained that criminals infiltrated legitimate protesters. But David Chege, the man you saw there who was shot in the head, he was not a criminal. He was a Sunday school teacher. 